Our next graduate student awardee is Emma Davenport, PhD candidate in English. She will be introduced by Kathy Somiades, Associate Professor of English and a 2017 Dean's Award winner in excellence in mentoring herself. Kathy. Thank you. Um, it's my pleasure to introduce Emma Davenport, who's uh, been a graduate student in the English department since 2014. And just this morning, um, as seems to be the case with many of us here, uh, defended her dissertation on contract in Victorian law and literature. Um, Emma, who I'm going to have to start learning how to call Dr. Davenport, um, is one of the best graduate student teachers I've ever observed in a department full of wonderful graduate student teachers. She came to us with training and experience in secondary education, as well as the JD degree. During her time at Duke, she's taken advantage of many forms of training in college teaching, from the certificate in college teaching to the certificate or teaching writing in the disciplines to preparing future faculty. She's also taken full advantage of the resources in digital humanities education afforded by the PhD lab in digital knowledge, data plus and data expeditions and the Bass Digital Instructional Fellowship. She's gone on to share these skills with graduate students and faculty by acting as the leader of the English Department Pedagogy Forum, co-convening the Digital Pedagogy Working Group for the PhD Lab in Digital Knowledge and supporting faculty courses in data expeditions. She's also led workshops on digital pedagogy at Duke and at UNC Scarlet, Charlotte. I could go on and on about the incredible podcasting assignment that she designed for a course that I taught on self-help literature, um, including detailed technical and content instruction, grading rubrics, evaluation materials, and a website. I could go on about the non-major seminar in law and literature for which she scored in the top 5% of teaching evaluations in Trinity College, about the course she taught on Victorian novels and literary theory that involved students in building a website and resulted in two undergraduates having their research accepted for presentation at national conferences, and about a writing 101 course in which I watched first year students discuss a legal opinion with incredible sophistication because of the way Emma had carefully crafted the reading assignment and the discussion. Every time I watch her teach or read her teaching materials, I learn something new about pedagogy. Undergraduate, graduate students and faculty have benefited from her pedagogical presence here at Duke and the undergraduate graduate students and faculty at Emory, where she will be an assistant professor this fall, are very lucky indeed to be able to benefit from her pedagogy in the future. Um, thank you so much, Kathy, for that introduction. Uh, I'm so delighted and honored to receive this award, and I'd like to express my deep gratitude to the people who have been instrumental in my pedagogical development over my time at Duke. Uh, first, I want to thank Hugh Crumley, who has known me since he first taught me fundamentals of college teaching many years ago now, and who has provided me and my fellow grad students so many opportunities to pursue training and teaching. The CCT program, PFF, and the Bass Fellowships have provided me with teaching and professionalization opportunities that weren't available from within my department and that have been invaluable to me during my time at Duke and I fully expect in my next role after this. These programs, of course, are much longer than much larger than just Hugh alone, but I think others would agree with me that Hugh remains their heart and soul, and I've really valued his support and advocacy throughout my time as a grad student. Second, I want to express my appreciation to the digital humanities community at Duke, which has provided me with teaching opportunities, with mentorship, with funding, and with camaraderie. Uh, this includes the PhD lab in digital knowledge led by Victoria Zabo and Phil Stern. It also includes the learning innovations department and Sophia Stone who organizes the activities of the Bass Digital Education Fellows. 
uh, folks affiliated with the Digital Scholarship and Publishing Services Department and the Center for Data and Visualization Sciences, most especially Eric Monson, Liz Milowitz, Will Shaw, and Brian Norberg have trained me, helped me plan and execute a data expedition, and provided a forum for sharing methods and ideas with other digital humanists at Duke. I am grateful also for the two summers. That's my cat, sorry, she is very loud. Um, I'm grateful also for the two summers that I spent working with the Data Plus program and particularly grateful to Paul Bendich, Kathy Peterson, and Ariel Dawn for their administration of that program. Uh, the person who links all of my DH activities together and without whom I would not have even started developing this area of my teaching is Astrid Juni. She is a force of nature, first as an endlessly creative instructor to her undergrads who benefit from deeply interdisciplinary syllabi, the likes of which I haven't seen elsewhere at Duke, second as a tireless advocate for graduate students creating out of whole cloth major funding opportunities available at the drop of a hat for consultations and always seeking feedback to improve the grad student experience at Duke, and third as the absolutely essential liaison between DH and the English department and the humanities more widely. I can only be amazed and perplexed that Duke has not yet managed to lock her into a tenure track position because DH at Duke could not function without Astrid's enthusiasm, hard work, and expertise. Finally, I'm indebted to my advisor, Kathy Somiades, who has always recognized pedagogical training as central to the work that she does for her graduate students. I have learned from her example in the classroom where she is beloved by her students and in debriefs during office hours. She has counseled me on the nuts and bolts of syllabus planning, on how to write letters of recommendation for my students, on how to ensure that I'm making the most of my teaching opportunities at Duke. She has observed me in every course I've taught and given me the time and space I needed to do a good job teaching in semesters where I therefore did not get much dissertation work done. I admire so much her own commitment to teaching and mentorship, and it inspires me to seek to reflect that commitment in my own teaching. Thank you so much for this honor and a special thanks to Tish for all her work on organizing these events for us.